Hi, my name is Medha Gupta and I was a 2017 Congressional App Challenge winner. I'm also currently a member of the Congressional App Challenge Alumni Advisory Board and I study computer science as a sophomore at New York University. Yeah, my name is Amy Liu. I'm from Bucks County, that's PA01 district wise. And then my member of Congress is Congressman Brian Fitzpatrick. And then my app's name is Text It Out. Awesome. Uh, so I'd love to hear a little bit, uh, a spiel about Text It Out, what it does, what's the purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Text It Out aims to combat the inaccessibility of mental health resources for the deaf community. So it has three major functions. So first of all, it compiles accessible mental health text lines for the deaf community to use whenever they need to talk to a specialized mental health therapist, etc. And then it also uses core location to get the user's current location and then map nearby mental health clinics and centers for the users to go to. And that can correct um, connect directly to, for example, Google Maps, and you can get directions through there. And then the third function that it has is an incident slash mental health journal. And so it's basically a space for deaf individuals to be able to text out how they're feeling emotionally or whether something, for example, traumatic happened to them and they want to record that for future uses. That's amazing and it's a really admirable cause. Uh, I'd love to hear a little bit about what inspired you to create this app. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I've lived with my grandparents for my entire life and both of them are visually impaired and so I did a lot of disability advocacy work throughout high school and naturally working with the blind community has also opened me to the deaf blind community and the deaf community. And so I first learned about the inaccessibility through actually the National Federation of the Blind and a support group that I used to go to. So yeah, that inspired me to create this app and actually do the go through with the Congressional App Challenge. Yeah, and that leads me to the, my next question. Why did you end up applying to the Congressional App Challenge? Mm -hmm. So. At my school, we have a pretty standard computer science curriculum, but admittedly, I wasn't really involved with my school's coding club because it was composed of all males and that was really intimidating for me. So I really wanted to sort of seek out opportunities that I could do more independently so that I could still work on my computer science skills and also create something meaningful at the same time. So the Congress app, Congressional App Challenge was the perfect avenue for that. Well, as a woman in computer science myself, I totally understand the intimidation. So how has winning the Congressional App Challenge changed your outlook on technology and the gender gap in the field? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think yesterday at the app demos, um, we at the end we had to go into breakout rooms and meeting other individuals. I actually met another woman in STEM who won in her district for PA. And so talking with the other winners in Pennsylvania actually was really inspiring hearing the purpose of their apps and what inspired them to do it. And she also talked about her experience as a woman in STEM with Girls Who Code, etc. And so it actually makes me really excited for the future as I go into college, like how I can also play into closing the gender gap in STEM. That sounds amazing. And so what kind of impact do you hope to have through technology? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Currently, I hope to go to college as a computer science major and then also use my coding skills for rural resilience. So I hope to be able to learn about machine learning and artificial intelligence and sort of use AI to map climate related food insecurity from satellite images. So that's my overarching goal. It's going to take obviously a long time to, you know, get all the knowledge and skill sets to be able to do that, but that's what I hope to do in the future currently. That's amazing and I will say it's definitely viable, so don't hold yourself back. I think you can definitely do it really soon, sooner than you think. <laughs> um, so any uh, future plans for Text It Out? Mm -hmm. So currently for the one of the second function that I mentioned, it only maps 
nearby mental health clinics for PA01 district. So I hope to actually implement more locations across the country. So right now I'm adding more mental health clinics and centers in Pennsylvania, and I hope to finish that up in the next month. And then in the following months, I hope to also add more on the Northeast and then quickly expand to the rest of the country.